Now it's second and nine. Here's Wilson to throw. And this will be incomplete. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there. And I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Brady going to throw. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Bradley Chubb picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times do we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. The final shot before half for Brady. And he finds Gronk. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. tied on the scoreboard and no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback and the Bronco offense ready to begin this third quarter of play and it's a tie football game here what do you think Charles the message was at halftime well I think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game no need to panic no need to change a whole lot we didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Coming up on a second and six. Now Wilson. That's caught left side by Judy. A gain of four last play. They doubled that here and get eight. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 68 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. A short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down, Williams. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Looking to throw. Wilson into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spend in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. And Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing to start the drive. Brady looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now a play fake, Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes, because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Back 
back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Brady. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking round and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First down, Bernard, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, here's Bernard. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. 56 Throwing now is Brady. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bolt down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. seasons and that was pure strength there as he forced his way into the end zone and when you think of guys who use the step arm so effectively i go back to guys like earl campbell walter payton some recent guys like marshawn lynch let's go to the way back machine bronco nagurski he dealt out a wicked step arm suck up for the extra point it's up and good and that'll make the score 21 14. So this drive spans seven plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. They will start at the 25 as Spencer elects not to return this. So the Broncos coming out now. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. What? 
A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's Gordon. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 41, Wilson. They'll roll him out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Wilson now to throw on third down. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. The 305-pound and Dominican Sue fighting the path to the QB there. They were trying to set up a screen there, but that one just too slow and developing. Yeah, too slow and developing and well read because that ends up being a bad feeling for the quarterback. Well, he's got no blocking in front of him. His guys are just going to let defenders go, and they're coming for him. So if it's not there, you just got to throw the ball on the turf at your running back speed. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Again, we see Tom Brady in the box set to take over. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 41 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. the 34 now here's first and 10 working from the gun it's Brady and the catch made by Johnson they'll contain him to just four second down good throw good catch but I really like the route the drag and being able to run away from defenders hard to stick with them for that long yeah better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, that's complete to his running back Evans. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 49-yard line. Fournette running out of the gun. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. 
And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second down and four, Brady. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Broncos are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Wilson. That's going to be caught by Judy. It'll be a gain of five, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. From the gun on third down, Wilson steps away. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And here we go again with Tom Brady in Tampa's offense. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So he's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Baron Browning, the one who brought him down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. On second and seven, Brady to Evans on the slam. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist, 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 twist. Hey, 
Throwing on first down is Brady. There's Evans again, complete. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second down and seven. To throw is Brady. And the Broncos get there and take him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So Brady and the Bucks need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. Back to throw. Brady. Johnson's got it complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. So Brady departs, and on is Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Suckup's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice win for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And Spencer will elect to not bring it out here. It's a touchback. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's complete, Akue Bunam. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, Wilson. Room to run past midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield strike. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From midfield now, here's Wilson. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Gets it to Gordon. 
and he'll go down at the 28. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. The Broncos on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This time, it's third and three. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 21. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to one score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and ten. Now Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Bucs are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. So after the INT, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. Three yards the game there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Brady, and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Pat Sertan. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. After the interception, here's Wilson. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 
And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? McManus now for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and three. A handoff to Fournette. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third at about a foot or two. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And this is gonna be a Bucks first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. now on first down complete it's Johnson and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw I think he looks at it as I can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me and I'm gonna keep firing show a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 46 here's Brady to throw Open man, Gronkowski complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. To throw again on second down. Brady over the middle to Evans. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 25-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Brady to throw again. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. A gain of six there on first. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now Brady. Now look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And the Broncos are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you gotta be super careful. Gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Wilson. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson got Gordon open, completes it. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And yeah, that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Denver. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. 
Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Brady. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Second and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Bucks on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This time they face a third and two. Brady. That's complete. Bernard. And he is going to have the Bucks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Brady going to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Evans. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Again, it's Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 47. Now Brady. It's a sack. Draymond Jones. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Another try after the first down sack. Brady looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Brady. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Bradley Chubb able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. 
Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. 